Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have part two of our The Goodwill Box from Ohio, and we are finishing this up, but first off, I want to tell you, my name's Marilyn, and my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We had a scammer last night um, hit us every single um, comment on our last night's video along with some past video comments were tagged with a scammer using our photo along with a um, made up number it wasn't us. Just like Kristen D, a couple, I think it was last week, she got hit by um, one, and I think it's the same one, and they were asking for you to telegram something. Um, first off, um, the way it was, it was obviously not me, but please, 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 and I say it again, please, 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 never, ever, on anybody's video, um, do anything the comments tells you to do. We all, I believe, anybody who's reputable is going to tell you what to do in our videos, okay? If I didn't have a giveaway, I didn't have anything. Somebody just hit us. And what they did, as I said, is they double commented on everyone. And it was saying to um, text or telegram or whatever it was. But that's not how we do videos, Um if we do want to contact you, we will email you or we will say something in the um, video itself. That's how we communicate with you. We communicate through the video only, not through comments. That's why I always tell everybody, we do not look at the comments to do any cells. And the reason for that is because it can be manipulated and you don't know who is who. So always, always be sure you never contact anybody out of the com comment section. That is not the way um, we do things. So back to the video. I apologize. I'm sorry if anybody did call them or telegram them or text them or anything. Uh, don't do it anymore. Um, protect yourself. We appreciate each and every one of our subscribers, and we want to be sure that we're all taking care of each other. We have a wonderful community that doesn't mean that we don't have low-life scammers trying to take advantage, and we apologize, and we appreciate each and every one of you. So hopefully all of us are very careful with every channel that we go on to that we're never taking advantage of, and we just are careful and not do and contact people through comments. They can be manipulated, they can be um, just not very good. So let's all watch out for each other. I did wanna tell you a couple things. Um, I told you last night that I was gonna tell you what the nail polish I had on was. Um, this one is OPI and it is, do you have this color in stock home? This was in a um, Norway um, little mini pack, and I love the purple that it is, very royal looking. And um, as um, our wonderful subscriber Irene said, the purple is great for um, in memory of the queen. So um, definitely, and I'm still wearing the same rings. Um, this one, is for sale it's i believe a nine and a quarter and it's a i think it's called chero light c-h-a-o-r-i-t-e um stone with sterling and this is when i did check because i couldn't remember what these stones on the side were um i've been wearing this ring for a while and i'm like i'm not sure if i ever tested it but this is definitely a baroque pearl wonderful oxidized setting and these um, four um, stones are topaz. So a beautiful rings, if I must say so myself. Um, this one is for sale for $50 if anybody's interested. So on to the video part two. Um, as I said, it was from um, Ohio. And um, 
Thanks so much for watching. Let's watch some jewelry. Somebody's class ring. It says, well, I guess not a class ring. It says loving husband. And it says KSPSP. And then this is 1988, class of 88. And it is Colonel White High. Mm, it has a Holy Bible. And I cannot read what that says. Oh, and the stone in the center is broke, but it was blue. So I'll test, I'll put a test over to the side. Here we have, uh, these are missing um, a piece right there. So these are going to craft for a dollar. These are together just green and they look like, um, they're supposed to look like quartz and they're green. I guess I can test them. Yeah, they're just green and so I'm gonna say a dollar. These match. Okay, these are really cool. These are silver tone with feathers and they have like a blue um, enamel in the center and it's got feathers or Native American um, silver, but I don't think it's sterling, but I'll put these over to the side in our test pile once we find our stone. We have a ring that is a enamel. It's real light, like a 10. It is a size nine. And I'm just gonna say $2. This is a pen and it's like a nugget pen. Uh, not marked. It's not magnetic, so I'll test that in our little test pile. Um, here is one of those, I believe it's, yeah, Origami Owl. And this one has um, rhinestones on the front. It's got one of those little German dolls um a daisy and i can't tell what the other thing is um but that one's actually very pretty so on this one i'm gonna say let's just do six dollars on the origami owl here we have just a um silver tone charm bracelet it is um Seven inches, so I'm going to say five dollars on that one. Uh, it's a stone turtle. Isn't that cool? Check that out. I think it's just an agate turtle, and it's not um, like a jewelry, it's like just a little. Um, piece to sit on the counter. Um, so on the little turtle, I'm going to do, um, I think it's banded agate. Look. Really pretty. So I'm going to say $10 on the little turtle. And we have a little ring here that says, I think it says, it's a spoon ring. It says Korea. A 
It's really light. It is a size six, like so. It's got little roses on it or flowers. So I'm gonna say just $4. So you've got an opal and a ruby and some topaz around the edges of the, um, so I'm gonna put this over to the side to test because I'm sure that's sterling. Here is another um, hair barrette, um, no name, um, rhinestone, so I'm just gonna say a dollar. Here is, um, some cubic zirconia oval earrings, so a dollar. Here's a lion, tiger. Uh, this is a brooch. And it is ABC and an apple and a ruler and a bell and a book. So just a dollar. I just don't see any matches, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Like this is a dress um, or shoe um, clip, but there's no match. There's um, a kitty with a Santa hat on, but no match. Here's a ring that says Avon, um, but it's missing some of the stones. Um, this clip-on that is a poinsettia, but I don't see a match. A strawberry, no match. <laughs> okay. Here is all our mismatched pieces. It is some bracelets, um, earrings, um, even a carrot earring, um, pieces of, I believe, a watch, um, but I can't find the whole thing. And lots of beads and one pieces. And um, there's even a one Michael Kors, um, earring in there. Um, there's these three that are, um, this one's turquoise and these two are agate of some type. I don't know if they're dyed, but they're like just little cones and they're not, um, beads. Um, so on these three, um, if you want all three, I'll do um, $10 or $4 a piece. And then um, we have this really cool bracelet. It is um, cloisonne blue inside um, with a gold and yellow and black um, around the edges. It is gorgeous. It is a size um, eight and a half inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do um, $9. And then, um, I mean, here is the thing, is I I find this very interesting. I hear so many people say, oh, why would you wanna waste the time going through that? And somebody actually left this comment on our um, uh, post the other day and said, how can, why would you want to wait? Something like, why would you waste your time on such low-end items? Well, you never know what you find. Remember, this stuff is, as um, Gina s says, uh, which, good point, this stuff is donated, you know, and um, we need to remember that. It, it's treasure hunting. It's, it's just fun. And I'll go through these pieces, and I'll test a few of them for you. Even though this is just one, um, this is gorgeous enamel piece. And um, I'm, I'm going to put it with the others and make a um, bits and pieces bag. But I mean, this could make a um, wonderful um, pendant. 
and it's already pretty well done for you because it is the clip um, earring um, with the bail um, that could easily be a bell if you just pulled off the post. And um, that's a really cool piece. Now these, I did find the um, missing one on this and there's three studs. And on these, I'm going to do just $2 for the three pairs. Um, this is a cool button. It is, um, let me see if I can figure out which way it goes. Okay, here's the crown. Okay, this is a bird. And I think that's a rabbit. Let me find my loop and see if there's something written on there. This is actually an FHA hero blazer button. So I'm just gonna put it in the bits and pieces bag. Let's see, I did find some um, other pieces. So this is a brooch and I believe this came out of it because it, well, maybe not. I was thinking that went in there, but it's not the right size. So these two pieces are gonna go in the bits and pieces. Um, this is gonna go in bits and pieces. This cool bead, I just thought that was cool. Um, these pieces, which I don't know what they are, they are acrylic, absolutely. Um, I didn't know if they were maybe interchangeable um, pendants, but those are gonna go in the bits and pieces. This piece is a broken. Um, acrylic and then we have some other pieces that are broken that they might go to something so I thought I'd leave those in there also then um, these are matches and they are um, porcelain roses with faux pearls and on these I'm gonna say five dollars Oh, here's the Michael Kors piece. Um, I thought that was interesting. It has um, on the back, Michael Kors, on the front, the MK, and then um, on the edge, it might say Michael Kors again. Let me see what that says. Yeah, on his back, his... This part, um, it says cores also. Um, so that's gonna go in bits and pieces. That's a pretty cool piece. These were matches, and they're studs, and they're green and gold tone. Um, they are not marked, but I thought they were really cool. Um, love that green. Um, so these are gonna be $3. These are matches. I remember if these were signed. They're not. And that's the front. And it's shell and um, abalone. And on these, I'm going to say, let's just do $3. And then let me think if there was any other matches. I'm going to sign. Oh. Um, I think it's these, oh, these three, these three are, um, angels and they all are pen backs and I'm going to do, um, $2 a piece for the angels. Aren't those cool pin backs? Um, this one is just um, United Way, so that'll be a dollar. And then we have, um, this one isn't anything, but I just thought it was cool. Um, especially right now, you could put a pin back on that, and that's a purple spider. And um, it's gonna go in uh, bits and pieces. Now, um, Let's see, this one is 
Napier, but we only have one. Um, but that I thought that would be a really nice um, pendant. So I'm going to just say $2 on the Napier single earring. This one is um, turquoise. Um, and let me think, is this one? Yeah, this one isn't signed, but it is turquoise. Um, and that's going to go in uh, the bits and pieces. Now this is um, signed Mexico. And I believe it's an alpaca piece, but that would be a beautiful pendant with the um, abalone and the malachite um, uh, chips. So um, that's going to go in bits and pieces. Now, um, these are interesting. All of this is sterling silver. And there is one that is marked 14 karat gold. And um, I didn't check every piece. Yeah, this one says 14K, and then it says, um, I can't read the, and it is a real pearl. Um, and even the little backs, I wanted to be sure that you were testing or looking at, whenever you get a set like this, um, you can put all of this, because they're all one um, pieces, but they're interesting pieces, like this snake. Um, and they're all four, uh, these are all sterling silver. I mean, this piece right here, that's a lot of sterling. And um, you put it in a, oh, these two matched. And they're 14, uh, they're nine, uh, I'll get it straight. <laughs> they're sterling silver. Aren't those cool? goes like so um let me test them they're glass and um sterling um studs and they say on the back of the earring s925 so on these i'm going to say um ten dollars and um, I'm keeping um, this sterling. I know there's pieces I didn't look at, so there could be sterling in there. Um, but anyway, you take these pieces and you put them in a little box. And you can sell um, sterling on eBay. You can take it to um, your jeweler. You can um, scrap it um, at scrap places. Um, but that's the key is this always remembering that no matter what, remember people donated these, they have no idea sometimes what they have and it's take the time to look at the details, you know, um, it's one man's junk is another man's treasure. Remember that. So I did find my stone and I'm going to test some things real quick then. As I said, you had this piece, and I was going to test it. It does say, um, nine two five, and it's an opal, a ruby, and topaz. And, um, I'm positive that's sterling, but this one said sterling, so I was putting that in with the sterling. Now this one, I wasn't sure what it was, um, so I'm gonna test that one. Now 
This one is a pendant and it is really nice. It is um, marked 925 with the M and a backward C, which I believe is Marcella. It is um, a heart shaped ruby and a small little diamond pendant. And um, this one is a pendant, and I wanted to test it um, before I said what it was. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Oh, and these. All right, let's test these before we go on to the last few. Um, was it this one that I did up there? I'm trying to think now. No, I think I did these. So I don't think the um, earrings, let me test those again. But everything else, okay, so this one is, these are not, so these are really cool. Um, blue enamel with the feather and they are just silver tone. They are not sterling. And they are wires and they are three inches and I'm gonna say let's do five dollars on those and then I'm going to put let me test this one and see if that's a stone or just glass yeah this is just glass and this is sterling um, it's a pendant it is a really cool geometric looking it is an inch and five eighths by um, seven eighths. No, it's seven eighths of an inch by one and a quarter inch. And on this pendant, sterling pendant with glass, I'm gonna say, let's just do $10. And then these pieces that are all sterling, I'm gonna put in here. And then show you the last pieces that were in with the other pieces. This is just um, gold tone, um, not marked. It's a small little, um, sweet little uh, necklace. It is, as I said, gold tone with a red, um, rhinestone. It's 16 inches. So I'm just going to say a dollar for that one. And then this is a cool piece. It isn't marked. But let's see if it's magnetic. It is a little. So it is an S um, chain with a zipper um, and like a bolo tie. And the zipper um, does move up and down the chains really smoothly. Um, so I thought that was a cool piece. So on this one, it's gold tone. I'm going to say $7. I don't think this is sterling. No. I think it's just gold tone. Possibly it's missing um, the clasp. 
So I'm just gonna put that in the bits and pieces. And then the last piece is this um, Eiffel Tower with rhinestones. Um, the chain is a little discolored. And it's a cute piece, but it has discoloration. So I'm just gonna say um, $2 on the little Eiffel Tower. There's lots of beads and um, interesting pieces in here. I thought that was a really cool um, piece. Um, I forgot to test that one. Just glass. And there's all these little pieces that might be sterling that you could probably make a um, really cool beaded necklace with all these beads and um, pieces. There's so many beads. All of the beads. So here are the bits and pieces, and um, on the bits and pieces, I am going to do. Um, Let's see if this is over a pound. I don't think it is. It is. Okay, so this is 1.3, um, 1.2.8 um, ounces. So um, on this, I'm going to do... Um, $10 on the bits and pieces bag. Okay, um, I took all these and put them on my little gram scale. Um, this is an aquamarine and there is, it's broken. Um, these are glass. This is um, opal or glass, I'm not sure, but more glass. This is the um, single earring that will make a beautiful pendant. It is opal, ruby, and topaz um, surround um, and sterling. This one's glass. And it goes like that. It's a pendant. This one is um, amethyst glass. Real pearl. Um, this one is the pendant that is a little diamond. And um, it's got a baby hair on it. And a rose-shaped ruby. And this one's glass. Um, now it says it's 21.1, but when I did it earlier, um, I did it at 20.8. 
and 20.8 of sterling silver is um, $11.94. However, you are getting the ruby pendant and the um, opal um, amethyst. And these um, aren't broken pieces. And you're also getting this cool piece, which is really great. So what I'm going to say for um, all the sterling um, pieces all combined, and I would consider these scrap because they're singles and um, a broken um, uh, aquamarine. However, there are um, two pendants in there that aren't broken and the earrings you can use as singles. Um, and you can use all the stones and pull them out. So on this bag, I'm going to say um, $15. And on the gold, I ended up finding three pieces of gold. And I mean, in the bits and pieces, I did not go through every piece. I just picked out a few and thought, let's check that and see what it is. And um, sure enough, it, the ones, I put some back and then I found some. Um, so pretty cool. These both are real pearls. It is one gram and one gram of 14 karat gold is $31.24. I do consider this scrap because these are two single pearls, okay? Um, and both are real pearls. And um, this is a 14 karat gold bag. And always check your um, earring bags because you can find lots of gold that way. And on the gold, I'm going to do, if anybody's interested in the scrap gold, I'm going to do $30. It was um, $31.24, but I will do it for $30. I will also do a leftover bag from anything that is not on the sold list for these part one and part two. Every single thing that is not on the um, uh, sold list goes in a leftover bag and the leftover bag from these um, two parts are going to be $15. So interesting. As I said, not a horrible bag. There was some interesting pieces. And anytime I think you can find some interesting pieces, I'm ahead of the game. Um, love the little turtle and these little cones. I still don't know what they are. If you do know, definitely leave it in the comment. I'd love to learn what it is. Um, definitely in the comments, tell me what you thought of this box. Would you buy it? Um, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe below if you haven't already. Be sure if you saw something that interests you, send us an email to one shadyny at gmail.com and we appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us and we will see you on the next one. Bye!